Baker, talk a little uh, Atlantic Shore baseball and a little bit of what he's got going on Monday uh, prior to the home run derby. So uh, welcome into the show, Mike. How how's, how you doing poolside over there? <laughs> I told you, come on over. When you're done, you're more than welcome to join me. Dude, you got the life going on this weekend. <laughs> Every weekend, man. Living like the dream. Outside. I have to choose between the pool or the beach every weekend. It's a tough uh, yeah, one, yeah, t- tough life over there, <laughs> over there in Ventnor. <laughs> no, but, wait, by the way, uh, that's a great, uh, great event to get out to. You know, uh, the mainland thing, and uh, get out there, and uh, always, you know, anytime you can support something in the area, especially with a lot of young athletes who, uh, you know, these programs don't get off the ground unless people help them out, and uh, you know, it makes the experience for the kids so much better when the programs can do special things for the kids so yeah i know a lot of these teams they really uh they they do a lot of stuff to finance their uh trips to florida and all that kind of stuff the preseason preseason stuff they do uh tell us a little bit about your atlantic shore team and what's going on with those young boys yeah and you know this is the time of the year where you see a lot of the youth sports kind of take over you'll see the little league world series coming up and all those events are happening now and yeah district finals and all that stuff (laughs) Yeah, and, you know, kids do play baseball when they're past 12, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> when they get to 13, 14, and 15, they're still playing. And the main feeder program uh, into high school is Atlantic Shore Babe Ruth. And, you know, the high school coaches come out and they teach and work with the kids. And, you know, they start to watch our games. You know, we saw uh, Coach Kern was at our playoff game the other night. Coach Bean came to my practice uh, to speak to our team. I coach the 13s, Dave uh, Lee Geiger and Dennis Foreman coached the 14-year-old team. Jack Taggart, Al Becker, and Bill Rosino coached the 15-year-old team where Matt Lawler threw a perfect game the other night. He's a rising sophomore at Mainland. Nice. Uh, they're in the state tournament, and they beat Brick Township 10 nothing. Lawler pitched in that game. So the 15th state tournament has begun, and the 14s and the 13s are going to start uh, this coming week, either on Thursday and Friday. And if you watch these games, they're about the equivalent – you know, right now of a of a high JV level game for the 14s and the 15s. Most of those kids have either played JV and are rising to be a, a varsity player. Some of them have played varsity baseball, uh-huh. so it's a really high brand of baseball. And then I coach the 13s, where this time last year you probably heard a lot about my kids because they were the kids from Ocean City that are uh, that went to that state championship game against Tom. R- Tom's River, you know, kids like uh, Gannon Brady and uh, Brian Fury and Joe Gallagher, mm-hmm. uh, some other kids that are off of Motion City. So, you know, we've got kids 13, 14, 15, all getting ready to play state tournaments. And then the 13-year-old group is lucky enough, Dave, to uh, be the regional host, which means they will be hosting the regional tournament at Sandcastle Stadium July 28th. That starts with a berth to the World Series on the line. Outstanding. And like you said, this is really a feeder program for some of these uh, great high school programs around here. And you start to recognize these names, uh, you know, like Nick Drobinick over at Mainland, Steve Myers, yep. Atlantic City, uh, you know, but the Baselli boys over at Holy Spirit. Uh, so for people that don't know, these these are the kids that are going to be the stars in a couple years and, and really cutting their teeth at that level. Uh, it's got to be neat to see these guys progress and, and say, hey, I coached that kid when he was 13 and now he's, you know, he's a big time uh, Cape Atlantic League player. Well, Dave, there's no doubt about it. And the, the question, the, the big thing is, we had a practice the other night over in Ventnor is where the 13-year-olds practiced. And the names you mentioned, Drobinick, Myers, whose father is an assistant coach of mine, by the way, mm-hmm. um, and uh, Jack Lufflet, Kyle Gerace, uh they all came out to our practice, Kyler Pikus. They all came out to our practice to help out all these 13-year-old kids. Oh, really? That's, such that's a awesome. Great experience. Yeah, they had such a great experience being an Atlantic Shore player that they wanted to come and give back. And Jack, you know, here's a first-team all-conference player, and he's singly working with the catchers by himself. You know, Kyle Gerace, second-team all-state, he's working with the middle infielders. Steve Myers, first-team Cape Atlantic League, top hitter in the league, and he's working with all the first basemen. Uh, Kyler Pikus was one of the better pitchers in the area at Holy Spirit, and he's working at all uh, with all the pitchers, having them, teaching them how to run in the outfield, you know, you know that you have to run when you pitch, that you just don't go out and throw. He's teaching yeah. them all these things. So we literally have, like, our practices are almost like a camp. In fact, I had a parent call me and say, I'd pay money to send my <laughs> kid to that camp. I was like, we do this for nothing. Um, but, you know, I think one of the things in this day and age that is really lost in, you know, this AAU world that is kind of established is, 
they're so great at playing games, 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 games. They give them so many games. But what gets lost in baseball in this day and age is practicing. No one really practices, and a lot of the fundamentals get lost. And that's one of the things that we really uh, take pride in is having good, hard, solid practices and teaching the kids the fundamentals because the high school coaches, they're paying attention to our league. They're watching our league. They call our coaches and ask about these kids because they know that we're out practicing and they come to our practices and talk to the kids and tell them what they expect from them to be a varsity baseball player. And what's the reaction of those 13-year-olds when they see these high school stars that they they obviously know the names of these kids and and to see maybe the the coach who's going to coach them for the next couple of years when they get to to high school. What's their reaction when they see these coaches and these guys who who they've heard about for the last couple of years? Well, it's really cool because we tell them, look, these kids all played Atlantic Shore. They started as 13-year-olds, and now they've worked their way through the system, and now they're back here. Pick their brains. Talk to them. And there's times where me, uh, myself, my assistant, Don Myers, and Mike DeChico, and Brian Pugh, and Javier Landrone, you know, they're all guys. DeChico is the assistant, uh, the freshman coach at Mainland. Uh-huh. He's a young guy. You know, he's 22 years old. The kids like to pick his brain anyway. But to get even younger guys out there, that they're almost like friends kind of hanging out. And then the older kids are kind of like big brothers where they're like, listen to me. This is what, And they're like enamored. Like, you can see that they are really watching. And we have kids that are... You know, the 13-year-old group we have, very, very talented, and you can see how much they appreciate it watching and learning from these kids. So it was really cool to have them come out there. And, uh, you know, we have three practices left before we get ready for the state, and we're, we, our hope is that we can get them guys back out there because they're all playing baseball now too. So yep. for them to take some time out, I think the kids really were, were uh, you know, in awe by the fact that they came out. And our 13-year-old team scrimmaged the 14-year-old the other night. And just like the first inning of that game, you could see our 13-year-olds were kind of like, man, these guys are really good. And, and, you know, we hung in there. We lost 5-4. to four, But in the first inning, we got a little shell-shocked, I think, because those kids are now the next group of kids that are going to be you're, you're going That 14-year-old team is you're going to be hearing a lot about them in the next two, three years. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're up against the break here, up against the end of the show. Thanks for taking a few minutes, Mike. Uh, tell us real quick about Monday, the, the uh, Wiffle Ball Home Run Derby. Yeah, we're going to be at Kicksman Nutley's for the Sports Bash, and uh, we got an ultimate beach package. The package that we're giving away is unbelievable. So if you want to register or come on out and just hit some Wiffle Ball Home Run Derby, it's open to the public, but the people who register are going to get first chance at it and the first chance to win all the prizes. we got about 15 people that want to participate right now, but it's open to everybody Monday at Kicksman Nutley's. 63rd and Lannis and Sea Isle. Nice. Thanks for taking a few minutes, Mike. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, Dave. Take care, man. Thanks so much. You got it. Thanks, bud. All right. That's going to do it.